first, a quick shout out to Hectech, Mac, and BGB in the Ultra Kill Discord for putting all this information together in a single document. I'll provide a link to it in the description for those who would like to read it over more. Everything I'll be going over is covered in there, and I'm simply giving a visual example of how to perform these techniques. And minor visual spoilers ahead. Alright, before moving into the main technique, you need to know what a slam jump is. It's really simple. You perform a slam while in the air, jump when you hit the ground, and you gain an even greater height on your way back up. Your slam jump height will be even greater from a higher fall. But if you store a slam from any height and jump as soon as you reach the ground, you can gain some insane verticality. This is known as slam storage. So what is slam storage? It's a technique that essentially tricks the game into thinking you're in a constant slam state, allowing you to build up potential speed. The speed isn't infinite and has a cap to it, but it's still much greater than anything you'll ever really need. Is this trick hard to perform? No, not really. It might take you a few tries to get it, but once you have it, it's easy to pull off consistently. To perform the trick, you need to jump out a wall and stick to it. What you then need to do is hit your slam button and immediately after, perform a wall jump. A very quick 1-2. If you perform the trick correctly, you'll see the slam particles around you. Jump as soon as you touch the ground to see the fruits of your labor. You can even slam back down to the ground and perform a normal slam jump to maintain that insane height. I, uh, I also think it's especially funny to, to do this. <laughs> oh man, I don't know what it is about those screams that just crack me up every time I hear them. Slam storage can also be transferred to a slide, giving you an insane velocity boost. I'll give a quick demonstration, but I'll save sliding and dashing for a future video. This technique has its uses in speedrunning the game too. Most famously, at the start of 3-2, the final level of Act 1. Or at the start of 0-3. So go try it out. It's really fun to use, especially in the cyber grind. And who knows? You might want to try speedrunning the game a bit yourself after you've mastered this trick. Thanks for watching and take care folks.